a bus was making its way on the road. The driver was troubled as today, he was responsible for collecting the tickets as well as driving the bus. As the bus reaches near a bridge, the driver starts collecting tickets from passengers. Can you guess why the bus didn't topple from the bridge while the driver was collecting tickets? Because the driver had parked the bus before beginning to collect the tickets, the bus reaches its stop and all the passengers disembark from it. But there was one passenger who had fallen asleep. The driver walks up to him to wake him up, but as he puts his hand on the man's shoulder, he falls to the ground. He was dead. But how? And when? Detective Mayhul was called immediately to find out the answers to all these questions. As he reaches, he spots three buses in front of him. Which one of these is the murder bus? Can you guess? People are getting on the bus one, people are getting off of bus two. This means that bus three is the murder bus. He walks towards the bus and goes inside it in order to examine the man's dead body carefully. Suddenly, he spots the man's belongings on the adjacent seat. He decides to go through it properly and instantly figures out how the man could have died. Can you guess? Notice that there is a bottle of poison which is half empty. This means that the man has surely consumed it. Blood is oozing out of his mouth too. I'm sure that poison is responsible for this man's death, but has he consumed it by himself? Or is someone else involved in his death? I'll have to find out soon. Just then, the man's beautiful and expensive looking bag grabs Mayhul's attention. He pulls it towards himself and realizes that it was locked using a password. But there was a hint at the front of the bag. So much security in a hint for a personal bag? Something is definitely wrong. By looking at the clue, can you guess what the code is? The numbers are not added, but multiplied with each other. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Hence, for the code, 6 times 1 will be 6. Hence, the code is 6. Mayhul presses the correct button and manages to open the bag. He is left speechless by what he sees inside. The bag was filled with tons of cash and gold biscuits. Interesting, this means this man was a smuggler, but it is still unclear if this was a murder or a suicide. Mayhul then frisks him and finds a wallet in his pocket. Through his license in the wallet, Mayhul is able to find out his name and address. His name was Dan. Mayhul immediately departs from the crime scene and reaches the given address. But as he reaches the location and looks at the house, he was doubtful if the address was real. But why? Can you guess? It is unlikely that a person with so much cash and gold would live in a fragmented house like this. The address on his license would have been fake. Mayhul then comes across an old man who informs him that it was his house and he has no knowledge of Dan. Interesting. The case is getting more complicated with every second. I'll have to interrogate the rest of the passengers in the bus. Just then, Mayhul receives a call from Dr. Sunjana who informs Mayhul that Dan hadn't been killed by the poison found in his bag. The amusing part was that, the bottle did not have Dan's fingerprints at all. Very very interesting. This means someone had strategically placed the bottle inside his bag to throw us off. But when and how? Only the passengers can now help me get to the bottom of this. Out of everyone, Mayhul is suspicious of three people and decides to question them. The first man says, Sir, I was skeptical of this man from the beginning. He arrived in a luxurious sports car. Why did he even board the bus? I knew something was off. The second one says, Sir, I noticed him quite some times. He was looking very nervous and kept checking his mobile multiple times. The third one says, Sir, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw so much cash and gold. I just got up and sat at the back of the bus. Mayhul instantly figures out which one of them was lying. But how? Can you guess? How did the third man know that Dan was carrying so much cash and gold? 
This means he knows something crucial. He blurts out everything in front of Mayhul. He tells him that he grew greedy seeing the cash and gold, but he hadn't committed the murder. Mayhul obtains his fingerprints and sends them over to Dr. Sanjana. Soon, she calls Mayhul and tells him that the fingerprints on the bottle belonged to this man. The murder hasn't occurred using the bottle. This man planned to do it but someone beat him to it. But then where did the poison go? The man then tells Mayhul that two hours ago, the bus had taken a halt at a restaurant. That's where he saw the cash. He then transferred the poison to Dan's water bottle and placed it in his bag, so that it appears like a suicide. Dr. Sanjana then calls Mayhul once again and informs him that the poison administered to Dan was a slow poison. It takes almost two hours to kill the person. Very interesting. This means something happened in the restaurant itself. He quickly engines his car and leaves for the said restaurant. The car speed is at 100 miles per hour and the restaurant is 50 miles away. Can you guess how much time will Mayhul require to reach the restaurant? If Mayhul is covering 100 miles in one hour, then he will be able to cover 50 miles in 30 minutes. Within half an hour, he reaches the restaurant. He decides to check its CCTV footage. He is able to derive several hints through these four images and understands exactly what happened. By looking at them, can you guess? The man from the bus was sitting in front of Dan. Shortly after, he left his seat to use the loo. The color of the water has changed in footage 3. This means that the man administered poison in the bottle while Dan was away. But as we can see in footage 4, Dan leaves without drinking from the bottle. Interesting. But then when was Dan poisoned? Can you guess? Notice that Dan had lunch in this restaurant. This means the poison was added to his food. But no one came near him the entire time he was there, according to the footage. Mayhul was sure that a staff member had poisoned Dan's food. He quickly makes his way to the kitchen. Here he finds four people working. Mayhul couldn't believe his eyes when he saw a particular person. Can you guess who? This is the man whom I met at the address. I found on Dan's license. The old man was scared out of his wits and tries to escape from the back door. Mayhul follows him at once and finds himself at a crossroads. Can you guess which route the man would have picked? This wall is quite tall, an old man couldn't have leaped over it so fast. This road is filled with mud and water, his footprints would have been visible if he chose it. This means he took this one. Mayhul runs at lightning speed and manages to catch the old man. Why did you murder Dan? He was a cheat and a fraud and used to engage in criminal activities like smuggling. He involved my son in these malpractices too. He gave my address as his and as a result, my son is paying the price. He's in jail now. I wanted to take revenge. Mayhul instantly puts the man in jail. The case was officially solved. Detective Mayhul rocks.